The Earth's rotation is slowing down and it will result in strong earthquakes. A geologist explains, in the year we're going through we have heard about many earthquakes that have happened or are happening. Where do these rather strong, destructive and deadly earthquakes come from? And what will happen from now on? Will they be stronger? In a Forbes, Forbes article from November 20th, 2017, we read probably the big and strong earthquakes that have been sweeping our planet lately are due to, as Trevor Nace, PhD geologist says, scientists have found strong indications that uh, from 2018 onwards we will see major upward trend in the number of major earthquakes worldwide. The rotation of the earth, as with many things, is circular, but it slows down by a few milliseconds every day and then accelerates again. You and I will never notice this very small variation in the speed of the Earth, but we will certainly notice the result, that is, an increase in the number of serious earthquakes. Geophysicists are able to measure the speed of the Earth's rotation with great accuracy. They calculate small variations of the order of milliseconds now scientists believe that the slowing down of the Earth's rotation is linked to an observed circular increase in earthquakes. Circular increase in earthquakes? Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Circular increase in earthquakes. To begin the research, the research team of geologists analyzed every earthquake since 1900 that had a magnitude of more than seven and looked for trends in the occurrence of large earthquakes. What's been found is that almost every 32 years, there has been an upward trend in the number of major earthquakes worldwide. The team was concerned about the root cause of this cyclicality in the earthquakes. They compared it with a number of global historical data sets and found only one that showed a strong correlation with the increase in earthquakes. This correlation was about slowing down the Earth's rotation. Specifically, the team noted that about every 25 to 30 years, the Earth's rotation began to slow down, and this slowdown occurred shortly before the increase in earthquakes. The slowdown in rotation, according to scientific data, lasts five years, with the last year causing an increase in earthquakes. In 2017, it was for the fourth consecutive year a period where the Earth's rotation slowed down. This is why the research team believes that we can expect more earthquakes from 2018 on, as this year is the last slowdown in the Earth's rotation from the aforementioned five years. Possibly there will be 15 to 20 major earthquakes, magnitude 7 or greater. However, during the mar marked rise of earthquakes in line with the fifth year of the slowing of the Earth's rotation, there will be more and there will be an average of 25 to 30 major earthquakes, he said. Now, what is causing the Earth to rotate uh, the rotation of the Earth to slow down. The research team then devised the why, why the Earth is slowing down, to explain this phenomenon. While scientists are unsure of the mechanisms that produce this variation, there are some hypotheses. One hypothesis involves the Earth's outer core, the liquid metal layer of the planet that circulates under the solid mantle. The idea is that the outer core can sometimes stick to the mantle causing its flow to be disrupted. This may change the Earth's magnetic field and cause a temporary hiccup in the Earth's rotation. Currently, the data show only a striking correlation, but no casualty. There is therefore, scientists are still unsure whether this change in the Earth's rotation is the cause of an increase in earthquakes. That's just a hypothesis, a theory. Uh, this is from a Greek article I've translated for you. Please leave your comments. And thank you for your support.